to my channel today we actually have a special episode of our podcast we are on episode 39 and today it is basically going to be all about sewing um so before we get started i do want to thank all of my returning subscribers for coming back and sitting with me today it is currently sunday january 3rd and um i just really appreciate all the support that i get from you guys and for you watching my content and for anyone who is new thank you so much for tuning in my name is kai i am the host of the crochet corner podcast here on youtube and if you like my content and you want to join my family just go ahead and anna subscribe and leave me a comment i love talking to you guys so i'm just so excited to um basically get into this week's episode um i have made so many things <laughs> and it's all like the same genre like, i just made a bunch of masks but if you guys know i'm very new to the sewing journey i went through a phase where i was making all the project bags which i think i'll make some more today and now i have learned how to make masks and i'm like getting ready to learn how to make so many new things first and foremost guys sewing is so much fun if you've never tried it i really encourage you guys to try it i'm having the most fun and it's something that i never thought i could do but i went out on a whim and purchased a sewing machine and ever since then it's just been so fun and so amazing so um yes i crocheted myself to the bone for christmas so i have not been in the mood to crochet to knit like i don't even want to pick up a hook or a needle so sewing has taken over <laughs> and i'm so excited to show you guys i made scrunchies i made masks and project bags um but for now i'm just going to show you my scrunchies and my masks so i will go ahead and get into my finished objects um starting with the scrunchies so the masks the a uh, couple of the masks that i uh, make have a matching scrunchie and then uh, some of them i am actually waiting to make because i had to wait on my elastic and i'll just go into that later so, with that being said, um, I'm going to start off with the two scrunchies that I've made for my grandma. So, my cousin Vincent is on the autism spectrum. So, I found this um, puzzle piece fabric at Hobby Lobby that I thought would look so amazing. So, I made her two scrunchies with that fabric and it has a matching mask that goes along with it, which I'll show you guys in a moment. And then my aunt... Um, she both of my aunts actually my aunt t tari is assisting with the COVID 19 testing and then my aunt jennifer she has always worked in the medical field she is a certified medical assistant so i found these uh this fabric also at hobby lobby that has a stethoscope and a heart like you know like the monitor and then i made them these and they also have matching masks to go with their scrunchies and then moving on to my mom, myself, and my brother's girlfriend, I found this beautiful Mickey and Minnie fabric at Hobby Lobby, if you could guess. And so this is my scrunchie. I made uh, me a jumbo one. And this is um, Alexis, my brother's girlfriend's scrunchie. And my mom has hers, but it's the same size as this one. And when you see the mask, you'll see the fabric better but they are super cute this is also a scrunchie i made for myself which i posted it on my facebook and my instagram it's out of this like faux suede material and i absolutely oops got my hair on it i absolutely love it i actually wear this one constantly and it's just like a medium sized regular one and then I do want to show the coordinating masks that go with those scrunchies. The only one that I don't have to show is the the Mickey and Minnie Mouse one because I haven't made it yet because I was waiting on more elastic. Well, better elastic to come because the elastic that I had, I just had troubles and I kept cutting it too short. So like some of the masks that I made, like a, some of the smaller face can wear them. But this is the first one. This is one of the very first ones that I made. It um, matches the... Um, my dog is scratching at my door. Hold on. It matches the um, this scrunchie. So I can be matchy-matchy when I go out. And then this is for the autism awareness one. 
And then I got these new elastics that are adjustable from Amazon. They're super soft. Love them. And they are lined. And these masks do have a uh, pocket so you can put a filter in. Um, but yeah, this is the autism one that I made. Autism awareness. And I love these elastics. Um, next is the one I made for my aunt. I have to sew the other one. I got kind of tired. I was doing a lot of sewing, but here's that one. And it is lined with red. So I line all of my masks with t-shirts because of the material is really soft. There's a lot of t-shirts we had around the house that nobody is using. And that's the filter pocket. Oh, my baby wants to. <laughs> oh, so stop. He's trying to come in, but he keeps barking. So I had to, I had to kick him out. So those are the uh, matching scrunchies that I have so far. I plan, I have a couple more that I'll post on my Instagram um, because my brother <clears throat> requested that I make him one. He's in the army right now, so he asked that I made him a plain black one so that he could wear it with his uh, uniform, and then just a nice fun one that he can wear with his civilian clothes. And then I'll do the Mickey Mouse ones. My mom really wants that one, and my sister-in-law does. My brother's girlfriend would like that one too. And then of course, I need one. Um, so these masks, uh, they don't have scrunchies with them, and these are the very first ones that I made, like all within the same day with the exception of one. So the first one is, um, the very, very, very first one that I made is this one. It's completely made out of t-shirts and the elastic is too small. And you see here, I tried to <laughs> adjust it because it was too big and then I made it too small. But yeah, they fit so well. Sorry about the camera. It's just the elastic falls off your ears but they fit so well they are super duper breathable and like i said they have the filter pocket so if you need extra protection you can put your own filter in there and you can get like 100 filters off of amazon for super cheap like ten dollars the last time i checked because they've been having you know sales the second one i made is um so this one's lined with white on the inside and then i made one that is like reversible and it's really cute. It's just the the straps. I needed to fix the straps. Really, really cute. So if you definitely have a smaller face or maybe the ear protector, you'll be able to wear this. Um, you see, for me, it keeps like falling off my ear. But yeah, like I said, super breathable. That's why I love using the t-shirts because it's just... It's just so much better. And it's not sh like super stretchy jersey fabric. It's more of like the... Um, like the more stiffer shirts. I don't know exactly how to, you know, <laughs> I don't know. And this is what this one looks like on the inside. The next one that I made was for my brother. He gave me this bandana to cut up. So I made one with the cut up bandana and I lined it with red. Um, this one's my mom's favorite. So this one's actually hers because she has a cute little dress that she could wear with this one. And I'm trying them on so you guys could like see what it looks like on your face and like how it can contour to your face. My, my, um, you see how it's falling off. It, this one fits her. I have a bigger like head than her. Her head's smaller than mine. So this one fits her perfectly. <laughs> um, but yeah, you see that it's not falling down. I can breathe very comfortably in it. It does not fog up my glasses. It does not fog up my glasses. That was my number one concern with making these masks. And oh, I, this is a pattern that I got off of YouTube. And I will link her video below because she gives you a principal pattern and then a uh, tutorial. Um, yes, I did not want my glasses fogging up and they do not fog up. The next one is this pink one that I made for myself. Um, it is super cute and I just lined it in white. Super duper cute. Very soft. Love it. Um, and like I said, these were all made in the same day, guys. <laughs> and this blue one's for my mom. But I'm going to remake it because I got the better elastic. And then she's going to get, because she has a catering business, she's going to get her logo on this one. But this one matches my hair. I like it. It matches my hair. And like I said, your glasses are not going to fog up in these masks, guys. They're not. If you are a glasses wearer, look in my description box below and you sew. Look in my description box below. 
and definitely do that pattern because it's just a perfect pattern like I love it so these next two that I'm gonna show I was experimenting with adding a stabilizer so I have fusible fleece from when I was making my drawstring bags and I was experimenting with adding a stabilizer just to give it to more structural integrity um, maybe I need a thinner um, like uh, interfacing because I didn't, it makes it really bulky. Not like feeling bulky on your face, just the way it looks. But this is the one that I made with the feasible fleece. It's definitely nice because it definitely keeps its shape a lot better. Um, but I think that personally, I just definitely prefer um, not adding the fusible fleece to that. And sorry about the dogs barking. So I just decided for me, and, and like, and I got my family's opinion, we prefer it without the fusible fleece. So I made that one and then just this plain white one because I cut too, too much of the white and I had a lot. It's just, uh, it's just a better feel uh, without the fleece. Like the way it just, yeah, it's just like super bulky with the fleece. Um, so yes. That is all of the ones that I have completed so far. All of these ones I will be um, trying to donate um, because I, I don't have a use for them except for this one. This one's my mom. So if you are in the Vegas area or if you know somewhere where I can donate these, let me know. They are going to be helpful to whoever, you know, a lot of people like forget their mask. But yes, I will be donating these. My desk is getting filled up with stuff because I have to show you this next part. So that's all for my finished objects for now. I, of course, will have more to share with you um, and maybe next week or on my Instagram if you take a look. Um, because I have a couple of them that I've already cut and sewn the pieces together. I just need to like sew the lining to the front part. Um, next, I want to show you the type of elastics that I use because I really encourage you guys to get some. I got 200, um, let me, hold on, I have to pull up my Amazon order. Oh, and the last one, this is a little baby mask that I made for my, my niece. She already has her scrunchie, so that's why I don't have that here. But let me look at my Amazon order because I got like over 300 elastics. And they're the adjustable elastics. They're super soft. They feel so good on your skin. Um, they're adjustable, which is, well, I know I keep saying that, but like that's really the most important part is the adjustability of them. So I got different kinds. Um, so this is a, a multi-pack of colorful ones. And in this one, you get 300 and it has different colors. So there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, black, gray, and white. And you get 300 of these. And I'll leave the listing linked in the description box if you would like to order your own. I highly recommend it. Um, you can get 300 for, I paid uh, 15 Well, they were on sale when I got them. They were, were they on sale? Let's see. Yes, they were actually on sale when I got them. So I did get them a little bit cheaper than what you would normally pay. But they're $16. The normal price is $16 for the pack of 300 And then I also got just a regular um, pack of 200 And there are 100 black and 100 white. And um, they're also the adjustable ones. 100 black and 100 white and there are 200 so i have over 500 elastics that i have at my disposal and the um the black and white ones are on sale right now they're usually 15.99 but they're on sale for 14.99 which is the price that i paid for them when i got them so i will leave both of them linked below in the description box, if you would like to order your own elastics, they are super, super duper soft. And I love the fact that they are adjustable and they're super easy to sew on there. There's no cutting involved, no measuring. It's basically 
effortless so i'll leave that linked below for you guys and all of the new masks that i'm making um have the adjustability on them and the colors are super vibrant and they match with everything perfectly so definitely cop you some sorry i'm shaking the table definitely get you guys some highly recommend and i'll put the exact ones that i bought because i don't know too much about any of the other ones so Mm. sorry y'all i got thirsty next i would like to show you guys the um fabric that i got this is all from hobby lobby and and i got a lot of fabric guys but first i want to show you this one this is the fabric that i'm using for my brother's civilian mask and I'm also making one for his friend, Taylor. Um, his friend was very nice enough to drive him um, part of the way to come visit us for those two weeks. And so we were, I'm really appreciative of him, so I wanted to do something for him. Next is this fabric, which I thought was so pretty. I'm definitely going to make a mask out of this one. And then Taylor likes, and Noah, they like Star Wars. So I was able to find the Star Wars print to make them some masks. You've already seen those ones. The, the, the puzzle piece and the, oh, and uh, the ones I made for my aunt. I got some just plain black. Here we go. We're getting into the good stuff. So these ones, and you've already seen the Mickey Mouse one. So these are the two new ones I got. I got some mermaid fabric because I definitely want to do a mermaid um, mask. And then I got the Beauty and the Beast. So this is like the stained glass art. And I am so excited to make a mask out of this. I want to use this right here. So I've been planning that out. So these ones are definitely, whoo, I dropped my phone. It's okay. <laughs> these ones are definitely um, for fun. And um, I'm ex so excited to get into those. And sorry, I'm very excited to get into those and make some beautiful masks. Next, I have, um, this is just, so I found at Hobby Lobby different colors of this material. So I went ahead and got some more of that. And I got it in these gorgeous colors. I love this gray. Well, it, it kind of looks greenish. Like, it has a hint of green in it. But yeah, I have this gray, burgundy, blue, black, and then I wish the camera, this is like a deep emerald. And it's not going to pick it up, but it's like a deep emerald. And I plan on making some of my bougie masks with this. The fabric is actually really easy to sew and to work with. It just sheds a lot. Like you'll have like a lot of particles, but it's okay because I always wash stuff before I give it away. And then, of course, you already know I have that same one, but in that blue, which you've already seen. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and then my mom, she she really liked the bandana one, so she found me some bandanas in her room. So we have the red one that I've already used. Um, we have a black one. This one is like a, a it's like a, a bur it's not burgundy. But it looks pink and red, like a pinkish red. It's definitely not fully red. This is a red, white, and blue, so like a uh, American mask. Um, oh, and this is garbage. <laughs> garbage. But anyways, so yeah, so that's this is definitely all the material I need. I'm definitely having um, a lot of fun making these masks. I plan on making a whole bunch more. Um, and maybe if people are interested in buying, I'll probably sell them. Um, next, what I want to show you guys is, um, oh, this is just where I keep the patterns. So, um, my mom wants us to learn how to make stuff for our, for my nephews. But yeah, I just keep the pattern in here on, um, this side is the adult mask pattern. This one's the little one that I uh, used for my nieces. 
And then this is just extra. Um, I just printed out extra of the masks pattern. Ugh. And I keep them here. And then here's another one from, another pattern from Hobby Lobby about the masks. Um, so next, what I want to show you guys is the yarn. So I'm not sure if you guys know, but Joann's had a huge yarn sale on Lion Brand Yarn. So, oh, and Red Heart was on sale three for nine dollars. So, um, I got, I heard about the Big Twist, um, yarn, which I don't know if that's Lion Brand. It just says Big Twist. They were on sale. No, not the Big Twist. They haven't even came yet. So, Joann's is messing up because they haven't even shipped my order. But, it's okay. So, these Big Twists were $3, $3.69 a piece. And, I got, th I got two of each color. This one is cream. In Big Twist. This one is taupe. Taupe in big twist and this next one which is so beautiful is rose so i got two of each of these i do plan on doing a let's talk um because i personally have never used this yarn but i would love to review it for you guys i will say that i'm actually really excited i'm really really excited to use it because of how soft it is like oh my god I'm just putting it back, guys. Hold on. Because I have no more room <laughs> on my desk to hold stuff. It is super duper soft, and I'm very excited to use it. I plan on making a sweater with it. So um, I'll definitely do a Let's Talk and um, see if you guys are interested in purchasing that, too. Next is in this bag, which is more material for... A let's talk because I got some yarn from Lion Bread that I've never heard of before, and it's like a really nice velvety yarn. Um, it's called Nap Time. So on the website, it said it was a, a medium four, but it, it honestly is like it looks like a three. Like if you guys can see how thin that is, that's not a four, at least not to me. Maybe it'll be different when I crochet it up, but it's this velvet yarn. And what I want to use it for, I want to make some more crochet bees and um, give them away to like kids and stuff. So I got two of each color. This one is rose. It's a beautiful pink color and it's definitely a lot lighter than the other color that was named rose. This one is lilac. Beautiful. And I believe this is, and this one is called pale aqua. So, I got these so I can make some bees. Maybe if I get tired of sewing, I'll do that. But I don't see that happening so far right now. Next is because um, it was three, it was uh, three, four, nine. I got me some uh, Red Heart. Y'all know I'm a Red Heart queen. I wonder when they're going to send me my sponsorship. So, this one is my favorite, 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 favorite Red Heart. It's Icelandic. I love Icelandic. I used to use it in everything. Next, this one I just thought was just utterly gorgeous. It's fuchsia, jazzy fuchsia. And it's just, it's got like all of the, my favorite pinks in there. Like, it is utterly beautiful. And no, I don't know what I'm going to use this with. But I plan on using it for something. Or just hoarding it. I'm a yarn hoarder. <laughs> I know. And this one is, I never heard of it. It's called Aaron Fleck. And it's like a tweed yarn. It has like these different textures in it. And it is just utterly gorgeous. And when I saw it online, I thought it was beautiful. But it's even more beautiful in person. And I plan on making some hats with this. And I have a whole nother order from Joann's, but I ordered that before I even ordered that. Um, and it is still not here yet. And I don't even have an estimated time on when it's going to come. Um, definitely, definitely not happy about that. Especially because I ordered, oh, the Big Twist was on sale. It's not on sale anymore. It looks like the regular price is $349, which is what I paid for those. But 
when I ordered Big Twist first, it was $1.99. So I got four, I got four medium rows. I got four white and I had got four lilac, but they, the lilac wasn't in stock. So they canceled it. So, and then, like I said, it's been, it says it's shipped, um, to home, but it's been in that pending status since I placed the order on December 26th. So I don't know when I'm going to get that. If I don't get, it, I'm just going to have to contact their customer service and see if I can just get a refund. Um, yeah. So when I get that, I will definitely show you guys that. But yeah, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is, is something that it, I can't pick up because it literally has all of the, the stuff in it, but let's see. Okay. This. Okay, so that rolly cart was on sale at Joann's. It, it's usually $60, and I got it for $30. Um, I do plan on getting another one. I actually might just place that order today. I do want another one. It is so convenient. I love it. It houses all of my yarn. I mean, not my yarn. My fabrics at the top and I even have room to put some yarn at the bottom with my scrap fabric so I definitely want to invest in another one and it came in the, the perfect pink color that matches my room it matches everything you guys see my messy bed and the flowers it just matches everything it was so perfect and they only had three left so I was like mm, if I don't get it now I'm gonna regret it so I went ahead and got it so yeah, that is um pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this crazy episode. Um and if you haven't noticed my hair is blue. The last time you saw me, I had a hair wrap on because I had just took my hair down. But now it is blue, y'all. <laughs> and I love 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 the color. But yeah, that's all that I have to share today. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. I know it is the third, but um, happy new year to you guys. Many blessings to you and your family. Um, like I said, if you enjoy um, my channel, please make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment. I love interacting with you guys. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.